Sip like these little. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Ambiance is very key, guys. When yeah. we drink beer, we like ambiance. Okay, ladies, if your man is a beer drinker, and if you're a beer drinker, ambiance is key. It makes the beers taste that much better. And you know that's what we support. I don't know if you can see these in the video. Is it too far care. forward? Uh, you know what? I, I guess I don't care either no, because I'm care. looking at the ambience. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all that matters. We're gonna slowly line these bad yeah. girls up because they're girls. Yes, cause they're beers. Absolutely, because they're beautiful, beautiful, <sighs> delicious, of golden sex in a glass. Yes. Stop it. Ugh. Okay. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all are brew heads. Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all are brew heads. Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead. I am Scott Beer, Cole Beer Enthusiast, and this is... Beer and Other Shh, the podcast. We are just a couple blokes helping you, you, appreciate and understand craft beer. One pour at a time. We Absolutely. swap that out. We yeah, swap yeah, it out. You gotta switch it up sometimes. You know what I mean? Welcome to episode 32 of the podcast. Scotty, how are you, mate? I'm very well. We're here in our Toronto headquarters. At the, in, in the set again, as you can see. Chez Scott Beer Cole. This is the That's set. It's becoming the official set of the podcast. I love podcast. it. It's my favorite place yeah. to do a podcast. It's quiet. Yeah. We got way less technical issues. We don't need that funny little windsock. No, nah, the windsock yeah. was lit though. Right? It is very cool. Yeah. We have this boss dog little fella with the hops, the faux hops, the real wheat. You know, oh, I got the candle. We didn't light the candles. Don't worry, I'm getting to it. Oh, we had a plate. So, uh, what's good, brother? Chilling. I haven't um, seen you for... Yeah, know. it's been a few weeks. A couple we, weeks. We were in Chambly. Um, we so well. We talked a lot about it. It was a great Certainly time. Did. We're not going to talk about it today. We're yeah. going to talk a lot you about it. Go listen to episodes 30 and 31 where yep. we died, di- uh, what's the word? God, I'm tired. Dissected it. Yes. We yapped about it. It was a good time. And we broke it down you, for two episodes. If so. y'all remember the, the episode 31, we were both like mash up. I essentially feel like a bag of smashed ass. If, <laughs> if I could best well, describe the yes. feeling. I would, I would actually quote you previously as a bag of smashed assholes. Yeah, that works too. We both did not drink for about a week. I had a couple beers throughout the week. Yeah. But that was it. And I but did not no enjoy it. No like, desire. No. You had nothing right. I didn't enjoy One it. One full week, all. I didn't have a sip. Damn. And uh, I just didn't want to. I was like over it. And uh, but we back. But we back today. We're going to be reviewing the Cameron's Brewing Brewmasters Selection Four Pack, which was, in all full disclosure, like we always purchase the beers absolutely that we have on the show. Always, unless we go to like a, a brew pub, we're interviewing someone. They usually provide that as part right. of an interview, a pint right? or two, and yeah, right. you know, nothing crazy, but you know, like whatever. But this was actually kindly sent to us um, from Cameron's. Thank you very Thank much, you, Cameron. So I just want to put that like full disclosure. I don't, and yeah. you know, I don't want people to think we, you know, I've had a couple of these, but I haven't had more. And if we say they're good, I don't want people to say we're kissing their ass because they gave us beers. Yeah, um, they don't pay us to do this. We just want to, you know, they were kind they enough to send us the beers. Donated and say, us some beers and said, uh, "Go through the coasters." Yeah, give it a shot. Tell give it a shot. You, you know, and yeah. to be honest, we have mentioned it uh, once or twice in the past about Cameron's new branding. Yes. We'd both drank all their beers previously, prior yeah. to the old branding, which was, you know, admittedly quite plain. And, Mind you, uh, they, they had a four pack before, which wasn't these. These are the newer bottles. brews, right? Yes, yeah. the bottles, the four pack bottles. I think there was like an Auburn or a Brun or something. Yeah, they were pretty some pretty standard, standard brews, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and probably right. yeah, yeah, exactly. Nothing too fancy, but no, yeah, amber brown and maybe something else like a pills or whatever. Yeah. So this is the new one. Like I said, I've had a couple of them. I, I purchased not that long ago. I um, just really liked the branding, to be honest, and I wanted to give them a crack again. I thought it was cool, and we've talked about this. A lot of the Ontario specifically, I don't notice it in Quebec, but as, as the community's grown or the industry's grown, like the, mm. they're stepping it up. Everyone, Nickelbrook came back with Boss um, uh, branding. Uh, what's the other joint? The uh, Grand River. Grand River, thank you. I was about yeah. to say Gold Knife, that place. Yeah. They, they stepped it up. Um, a bunch of a bunch of breweries really up well, the game. It's I cool. think because Ontario craft is booming right now. If you don't keep up with the branding, you can't keep up with everyone else because it's it's moving so quickly. Regardless of the beer itself, it's just yeah. like you got to look good to for people to buy your beer or to try it for the first time, even right. Hundred percent. It doesn't look awesome on the shelf. You're probably not going to pick it up. So Absolutely. there were a few of those that I don't know a little. Some of the labels look like maybe they were made in word art. 
by like a grade seven or eight or <laughs> that something. Was, that was the grand rule. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to call oh, them no, out, like, but like, I want no, to prop like, them on changing. That's that what I'm saying. But regardless, like, I don't really care about it. I'm just saying, if I see a bunch of beers on the shelf that don't look very enticing to me, I'm probably not going to grab them. So that probably means most other people aren't going to grab them either. Then people aren't trying your beer. Then kind of we have a problem, right? So it's cool Absolutely. to see that everyone's stepping it up. We've talked about this a lot. Yeah. I mean, when it comes down to it, you got to make good beer. Who cares what it looks like? But it's cool that everyone's kind of, you know, on the up and up with making their the product look good and taste better. I find like, I don't know if they've changed some recipes, but the beer tastes better as well, more importantly, yeah. right? Yeah. We have four beers here. We have the Captain's Log Lager, which is a 5% lager. Uh, one-eyed Grouse ESA. Grouse. So grouse. And I think a grouse is a bird. Grouse in Australia is like awesome. Yeah, it's a bird like similar bird, to like, right? a small turkey. It's like really, eh? yeah, kind of like one of those walking birds, kind of <laughs> one of those dumb birds. I think they're like, really uh, good to eat. <laughs> like a grouse and a pheasant. I think they're somewhat pheasant, related. That's what I was yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah. So it's it's an ESA, four point eight percent. ESA is a. Um, I think it's an English special ale. I want to say it's an English special English style ale. ale they say style ale. Okay, Over. and then we got a uh, Amber, which is a red ale, five percent. And 12 Mile IPL, which is India Pale Lager. Okay, so they're so, all pretty mild. Yeah, pretty kind of nothing too serious. They seem very, I hate the word, but sessionable. Easy drinking. Easy drinking. Yeah, yeah but Cameron's have some boss, um, what are they called? Uh, special beers. I've had that, that the Obsidian, like uh, rum barrel aged oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff like that. Which These, I guess, are lit. just their, their go tos, and then they have, uh, most places have their seasonals, which I think we're going to talk about a little bit after. Yeah, I'm going to discuss yeah. seasonals, yeah. So I think it's time we unbox it. Yes, we're not drinking beer. This is a beer podcast. What are we doing? Let's yeah. see this going. It's in this pretty little orange box. It's a four pack of tall cans. Yeah. Um, let's uh, tear it open let's like it. it's Christmas Day. Oh, look at that. We're sharing oh, it. Yes. This is cute. This is oh, really very cute. cute. Doing here. So cute. Okay. Um, golden lager. Do you want to do any specific order? I'd say we start with the lager because it's the simplest. Okay. So it says it's a golden lager, the captain's log lager at okay. 5%. You do the honors, bro. Absolutely. For the people. Oh. I always flick it because it, it. Do you know I, you do it on the side and I quite yes, like that. You do it on the top. The tap right? on the top. Yeah. Do you know what the difference is? I don't, but I once saw an episode of something or other said that is the best way to do it to get all the bubbles off the side of the can to lift the carbonation so Makes it's not sense, as right. Right. So then when you open it, it's not this rush of bubbles. The bubbles are already at the top. They just kind of pop out. Whereas if the bubbles settle on the side of the can, you open it, they all come ripping up. Then a bunch of foam comes out as well. Right. And so that's you don't let's want. see if let's test it and. Oh, look at that. That was perfection. Slight was little bit of bubble. Yeah. He was just happy to be there. Absolutely. All right. So, can you hear that? You probably can. It's just beer pouring into a glass. <laughs> but, hey, sometimes you can. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman. You're a scholar. You are, uh, you know, you are, you what the people want in a bloke. Oh, look at it. Look at it pour. What so a it looks, flaming uh, ripper. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a lager. Um, Looks like a lager. No offense. Really? I mean, it is a lager, so... No, that's definitely not a problem at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> Captain's Log Lager. Oh, oh. <laughs> Drip it on yourself there, mate. I'm going to see what I gave it in untapped. I gave it a four in Out untapped last time I had it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I would like to say cheers. Clinky, clinky, drinky, drinky. Get it in, yeah. Okay. Solid. Yeah. Taste, look, I, I don't, this is not disrespect to just lagers, they're all the same, it's whatever. Yeah, like, but it doesn't taste, as we like to say, macro-y, like it doesn't taste macro-y. adjuncty. That's, is that even, I bet, I bet it's terrible terms and the BNR yeah. to be like, guys, you guys are... Well, right, thank right, God like, none of them are listening to this podcast. None of them are, because it's not for them anyway. No. Shouts to y'all if you yeah. are listening and you got any, you know, feel free to correct us. I'm not going to talk about the, the proteins and the, the wheat or the, oh, the like, yeast and stuff. Because you know what? We're not Cicerones and we haven't wrote a book. No, but we know a little bit about that. But we're more for the people, you know, we appreciate the mm. brew, we want to tell you what we like, um, what you should try, what you shouldn't try. This is pretty cool, man, like, yeah. for a lager, like, if I'm going to a bar and, I, and I'm drinking a lager, I I'm, have no problem yeah. with this. Super crushable, it's, it's a lot of, crisp there's enough clean flavor. And, that's what I'm saying. Crisp and clean, yeah. I feel like, I know that's probably overdone, but I feel like with lagers, like, if it can say that they're crisp, mate, I'm happy with that, like... Just had, had a nice little head on a yeah, there is, There's a bit of body to it as well. Yeah. Where I think a lot Good of loggers, they, they try to, they almost strip all the body out of it. It's like drinking like, like yellow tinted Perrier water. Like it's just kind like of there's is, not right? really any flavor to it. But no. I mean, this is by no means 
overwhelming in flavor. It's crisp and clean as a lager should be. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. I'm absolutely not mad at it. And like I said, if I gave it a four last time, I think maybe I was just impressed. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's easy to make a great lager. I think lagers are very underrated, even though they're, in my opinion, probably one of the more boring styles because I like all the fancy hops and all the crazy stuff sure. you can do to beers. But when you make a good lager, like that's something that we have never done before because of the cold process and we don't have the equipment or not, you know, I think it'd be pretty tough to make. So to make a great tasting lager that's not macro-y or adjunct because I bet there's probably some, pro- something you have to do to make it like super lit. I also feel sense. like, so you know how, um, uh, most of Canadian and Coors Light have their sub-zero. So if you see at some bars, they have like the frosted tap. It's like a stainless steel tap oh, with I have like seen ice that. all over it. They, they serve it colder than all the other drafts. I think they're serving it at around... Wait, minus them? Or? Sometimes it goes... It actually says on some... Like they had it at the Jack Astor's we used to work at. Oh, what? <clears throat> Maybe after you left, but... Okay. They have a little um, like temp on the top that'll tell you actually what it's being served at right and it's, it's sometimes it'll like it'll drop it hovers around zero but will drop like to minus one or one or two or three degrees so you, colder than most of the other drafts i don't know the exact system they put it through mm-hmm. but um it i'm assuming it's to make it taste better because it tastes like ass if you don't ch- like serve it really really cold i feel like a beer like this you would you don't have to serve ice ice freezing cold to appreciate it like there's still some flavor in there um i don't have to chill it down to sub-zero to actually have disguise it taste, f- lack describe of it right like disguise the right. flavor but lack thereof yeah. there's enough here that i could drink it uh which it know. warms up a bit yeah, yeah i feel like this is what i'm saying good. which one do you want to go next one to go the um okay so we have two left we have the india pale lager i reckon the La- india pale lager before sure. the amber right because yep. it's i'm down that, my friends, is something I'm oh, not that is of. a flashy can. I like that. Oh, that is sexy. Isn't that? Great work. Oh, yeah. I just want to salute the Cameron's uh, branding person and art person because... Beauty. I, I see know this on a shelf. I'm drawn to that. Okay, so you know what you said before? You said you don't care about marketing. We all care about marketing. Like, I'm in the marketing business as well. Okay, ready? Ready? Oh, oh, oh. yes. Oh, and that, oh. that little ding didn't work that time. I don't care. I don't care, poor. Just ding it all but over me. marketing is everything. Like you know, appearances are so important. And sure. I feel like Our for good something like at, at Lost Craft, do a great job of that. I mean, they I mean, put a good beer in a good can. Like a good why not? beer in a great, yeah. you know, in a fantastic uh, can. And and look, you know, it's definitely helped there. So there's other a bunch of other beers that have done a similar thing. Um, oh, look at this lineup right here. It's pretty. Ooh. I like it. Oh, it's lit. Cheers to beers. Cheers. Cheers to beers. That's great. Oh, man. Cameron's well done, guys.